Hello everybody, Barry here from The Lower Box and I'm here today with leech ambassador and fellow fisherman Matt Boast. Thanks for coming in Matt. Um, you may have noticed in the last few months we've started selling these great glasses and they've been going well. Um, you guys seem to have cottoned onto them quite quickly and I don't see why not because there's a heck of a lot of choice and they're great quality eyewear. And so thanks Matt for, uh, you know, Matt it first introduced me to Leach and Gator a couple of years ago and we finally managed to get them in stock so that's been good. And I just wanted Matt to come in because, you know, I've, I've done a lot of research myself. I wear, wear a lot of glasses. I fish a lot, obviously. I've worn various different types. And just, just to sort of help us understand what sort of separates these glasses, not just within their own range, but maybe from other glasses, maybe on the market, what makes a pair of glasses expensive, slightly cheaper. We've got, you know, these, the good thing about Leech, one of the many good things is that they basically start at $24.99. Yeah, so your base range so, for the products start at twenty four ninety nine with our Reflex O products. So Reflex, we've got them in various colours, etc. But just to give you an example, Reflex model, just so that you can see those, put those against that blank sheet. That is our very baseline model, super light frame, tack lens, and they are retailing at twenty five ninety nine, I believe. So yes, Barry, that's our, that's our basic one. You've got the blues there as well. Nice, so sweet same. little pair. Yeah. The so these are, these are nice, super light frames. You yeah. must have felt that when you've had them on your head. Yeah, these are the lightest, aren't they? Yeah. So I'd are... say this is more for your sort of entry level fishermen, or maybe people that are only going to spend two to four hours on the water. Say you're not giving it a hardcore, full on day. But these are our entry level lens. So that's our tack lens, highest quality tack lens that you can get. These don't have a coating or anything else on them. Really, really light plastic lens, retailing $24.99. And then we step up into the next range, yeah. which so just, is... So if we could just focus, so you mentioned tack. Now, I know that's, um, that's a fairly common material that a lot of your sort of slightly lower end glasses are made out of, which is plastic, right? Layered, yeah, layered correct. plastic. Now, yeah. I know I've had it with really cheap glasses where I've had the layers come away and after a couple of years maybe of use and constant cleaning in the salt water, I know I took mine in the salt water and someone said, I shouldn't be doing that. So that is, I guess, one of the maybe slight limitations you might get. It doesn't happen it's, often, but it yeah, can It's, it's it a can potential happen. drawback with all tack lenses, not only from the point of view of what Barry's saying about the salt water, but also the sun cream, things like that. That will all degrade any lens. So you just need to be aware of that at that so entry level point. It's not to say they will, but there's more of a chance that they won't last a sort of Correct. lifetime. Whereas so you were, you were then going to talk about the mid the mid range, which is what I've got here, which is the um, the X2 water. Yep. So, so the, the got... X2 is the range, yep. and then you've got your different <laughs> colours within mm -hmm. that. So the water being the blue, mm -hmm. the green being the earth, and then you've got like X2 dusk. So that's what I've. That's, that's, that's the moon. That's the moon, that's the moon so that's these are the dusks. So that's the so dusks. That's the other pair I've got. So like I've always gone with glasses. Since I live in England, I've always gone with the lightest pair I can get. So, but because you're buying, you're paying like 250 odd for a pair. You you don't want to get multiple pairs. So I I've always tended to go with that. In Costas, it was the Sunrise. Um, uh, Leech call it the Dusk. So this was the first pair I got, and then I thought, well, you know, at that price, I could actually get two for the yeah. Because re retail on these, just to clarify, the retail on the Dusk is around the sort of 85 pounds. So a lot more affordable. The yeah. Dusk lens is a really standalone lens for fish spotting, heavy cloud cover. You want to protect your eyes against cataracts mainly, no matter what you're doing, whether you're walking the dog, whether you're driving the car, you should always really wear glasses because of UV light. But Dusk really enhance, give you that depth perception and everything else that you need. So the X2 range of glasses, is a mid-range of lenses. They're the PC type lens, which we'll get onto shortly. Um, but that's the PC type lens, and you've got those in the X2 Dusk, X2 Water being blue, X2 Earth being green, etc., etc. So, do you want to touch? You've done your research on the PC lens, the polycarbonate lens. 
Yeah, so um, so yeah, I, I was trying to understand because when I first tried these on, I didn't know the prices of any of these. They'd just come in. I think you might have even yeah. bought the samples yeah, in, and I tried the them on. Down. It was obviously the first one I picked up because it was the color I wanted. I thought, well, I'll, that's definitely going to be the pair I have. And first thing I noticed, very comfortable, quite light, because yeah. I mentioned I'd bought, recently bought a pair of Costas, and I went for the glass lenses because I'm renowned for scratching my glasses. So I thought I was going to give up and go for the glass lenses, but they are a bit heavier. And, you know, it's, it's my, I actually weighed them the other day. The glass lenses are 46 grams, and these are all the glasses on the whole are 46, and these are 31. Yeah, so you've got like a 15 gram jigger difference. Yeah, and you don't really notice it when you put them on. You go, okay, well, how heavy are they? But I guess, like Matt was saying, you need to choose your glasses depending on how much or how often you're going to wear them. I wear my glasses all the time. And when you're out on the water, it does it does tend to get, you tend to feel it in your ears a bit when you're out for 12 hours. And I mean, yeah, if the frames pinch on the head, but these glasses, I've, I've given these glasses to a few people that have put them on that have had larger heads and I'm you one don't them, get that sort of pinch point which can give you yeah. the headaches on the side of the temple these you can literally flip them up onto the top of your head and some of the fly guys that i've been speaking to they forget they're actually wearing them whether they're on their eyes or they're on their head they're just so light these frames and because all of the leech lenses are plastic you literally you don't notice the weight when you've got them on so yeah, one thing I noticed, you said these are standalone. So when I was uploading these to the website, they all said copper lenses. Now these, yeah. I was looking at them going, well, that's not copper, that's silver, that's green, that's blue. Um, these are yellow, they're obviously not copper. And I've since found out, obviously, we mentioned polycarbonate. So I think you'll find that 99% of all gla decent quality glasses are made out of polycarbonate. We'll Correct. go into the higher end later, which is, yeah, which another, is the another, another compound. But yeah. You'll find that I think Leech are the only company, if I'm right, saying that make them out of that polyamide or polyamide. Um, yeah, that's the top end range. The top end range. So we'll get yeah. back to that. So I was a bit confused because they all say copper until I, I realised, and it makes sense that it's a copper lens, then that's then coated. Correct. To so make that colour where for it the be blue green coating, or blue. for the blue coating being you know the water. Yeah. And then the earth coating being the green we put a mirrored coating on those so that's a blue mirrored coating on the x2 waters over the top of a copper lens and what that does is it gives you a much more realistic sort of contrast so you know you put on sunglasses like my last pair not my current pair my last pair of costas when i put them on things that were blue look green Yes. Because they were yellow. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. if you mix you yellow don't and get blue. That contrast and colour, you don't really you notice do it. This. Yeah. And, but, you know, for me, because it was my only pair of glasses, I want the yellow glasses. But when I'm out and about with them, I don't want things. I mean, I went cycling with my son. Yeah. And we were arguing because he wanted to go on the blue trail. And I was saying, no, that's the green trail. He's saying, no, that's the blue trail. And he must have thought I was mad. Yeah. When I took my glasses off, it was very clearly blue. But for me, it looked green. And but although I noticed with these ones, it doesn't actually do that. No, but this you'll is get those. the only glass that's actually a yellow. Well, no, you've got a, these ones too, the HX Knights. Yeah, the HX Knights and so the HX Day is more of our basic range again, going back into the. They're not lenses. copper, are they? They're the yellow. Those are your photochromatic lenses. Aren't yeah, they? this is photochromatic, so that's, so that's a different. It does get into a bit of a minefield on this, but yeah, the photochromatic lenses will change with the amount of light. So if you go from a dark situation wearing these indoors and you go into the bright outside, the lenses will change and react, like your reaction lenses that you see advertised on various commercials. These will do a similar thing. They'll react to the amount of UV that is coming into the lens and change accordingly. So yeah, so that, so that, that sort of explained to me about the copper, because as I say, when I was adding the descriptions, I thought, well, they, they can't all be copper lenses, and then I realised... Yeah, no, they're all copper lenses, research, that but they've most got different them, coatings. Yeah, so that's, that's obviously got an orange coating, that's the street fire, which yeah. is a nice, you know, that's, that's more of a sort of... Like we were talking about fishing, these needn't only be for fishing. We've had a lot of guys at, um, I think, Weirwood, where I've, I've been, yeah. asking about, you know, like people sailing and just on the yeah, water. Yeah, wind surfers, I mean, my wife, surfing. my wife was desperate for a pair, but she couldn't find one that was small enough. So these are great just for casual wear. Yeah. As well, that's, you know, they're the, called... The street wear, street, that's, that's, that's why it's called street, yeah, because it's very street. much, you know, yeah. youngsters on the streets, but also people that are, you know, doing the street fishing side of things. Yeah. They're a bit hipper, a bit cooler. A little bit more, you know. A little bit more hip, so... 
So we touched on so, so that's, that's your the mid, polycarbonate that's your mid range, mid range, polycarbonate range, yeah. mid range, and within that you've got your X twos, you've got your streets, and then you're just sort of stepping up slightly into what we call the fish pros, which are also the addition with the fish pros is as you fold the glasses out, which I'll just bring up to you again with my piece of paper. So as you fold those out, these have got this nice bit of detailing with this wing on the side, which comes out and it just gives you that added bit of protection, or not protection, but it really helps with that sort of fish spotting. It just minimizes the glare, maximizes the depth perception that you can get out of those. So that's, our, that's the fish pros. And those obviously you've got a few there in different Yeah, you've got different, different colours. colours. Again, copper lens, but you've got your different coloured finishes on there. I think that one there, you've got your blue mirrored finish. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good Which for your soul. as bright as that. But no. I, yeah, so that's why I got these ones. So I got these ones for the salt water. Yeah. So now we were talking about different colours. You see, you've got the blue there. You know, I know you said some of the, the guys on the match fishing scene, for example, like the, the chrome or the silver or the grey. Yeah, absolutely. Some match region. fishing, they really like that sort of silver lens to reflect the lights. So anything like, you know, the street titaniums, which you've got that silver type lens, um, the tarpoons, yeah, the which X2, is the top end. What's that one? You've got a pair of... The X2 wind has a bit of a silver. Yeah, X2 wind. Also, that's that's stepping up. And so this is the PA lens now that we're moving on to. Is the eagle eyes, which you've got that really nice sort of retro style on them, and that's got the silver lens, nice tortoise shell surround, and then that sleek black side to them. That's the eagle eyes, and they do those in silver, grey, and green. So going on. Just touching briefly on that last lens, the PC lens that we were talking about, yep. that's also got a really high shatter resistant property to it, which is really important. So if you were fly fishing and you had a jig head or gold head dams or whatever, twatch you right in the lens of the eye and it broke, it's shatter resistant. So it'll just break into pieces rather than going to millions of shards and going into your face. That's quite an important thing and the durability of the next lot that we're going to step up to, which is the PA, they're really scratch resistant. This is our highest end lens. So you're looking at the tarpoons and the eagle eyes. So do you want to touch on those a bit? Because yeah, I know so you I, like the tarpoons. I got the tarpoons. So I was saying the other day, you know, so initially I went for the um, X2 Dusks. Yep. And then I thought, well, since I do a lot of salt water, Yep. And I was out the other day, I've never really had a problem, I've never really felt that my, my sunrise or my dust style glasses weren't dark enough, but actually, when I was out the other day at Weirwood uh, in the competition, it was bright sunshine, 28 degrees all day, and at the end of the day I did have you know, some sort of, a bit of a tension, I don't know if it was because of the heat or the tension of the competition, but definitely on a day like that, when I don't know if you guys fish the reservoirs, you don't really need to be looking into the water, because you're fishing at 20 foot, you know, yeah. you're not you're not really spotting fish. You're not watching fish follow your lure. So there's no real benefit to wearing a super light lens, because you're not actually using it to to look for fish. You're just wearing your sunglasses, UV protection, protect think, your eyes. I think what you said there's very important there. So the duration and the time that you're actually on the water <clears throat> is very important. So if you're only on the water for a short session, you're not needing to go necessarily for the top end glasses. However, if you are a serious recreational angler and you're going out at a weekend, you're going to Rutland, Grafham, whatever reservoir it is, and you're spending like eight, ten hours on that water, you need to be using a top-end lens. Otherwise, you're going to feel it, not only from the point of view of fatigue on your head, but you will get headaches without a shadow of a doubt. If you haven't got a decent lens, which is reducing that UV glare and cutting that and making it easier for your eyes, you're gonna definitely have headaches, which is what you were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, so that's there. the thing. So, so there's obviously lots of differences in colors and shade and, and um, sort of material from which they manufacture, yeah. which affects the price. But there's also, I know I've heard people talk about the polarization of a lens. Um, it's again, it's something that you know, we've having done some research, 
uh, your lenses are either polarized or they're not. There's not levels of no, polarization. Not at all. It is, it's, it's literally it's stop and go. Yeah. They're either polarized so, or they're not polarized. So it's not a case that you can see in the water better because the polarization is better or worse. It's more the quality of the lens, how clear they are, and how but also how they suited to those circumstances. Aren't yeah. Because like we were saying, these you know these are great for the salt. You know you get the really dark glasses. Which, as I was saying, in those conditions, for example, super bright sunshine, yeah. I could have done with my tarpoons because they're darker. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, I felt, well, I probably would have been better off using a darker pair that day because there's no benefit to having the lightest ones I yeah. have because there was not a cloud in the sky. So with these, with the tarpons, then precision <clears throat> injected. Yeah, that's the difference between them. So they're precision injected into the lenses to get that coating on there. So it's still a polarizing lens, the same as your X2s, but this one is precision injected into there to get that slightly better. And also- It's a clearer material, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you so get that depth perception and everything so else. So these, for example, the Reflex and the Moonstones, which are the cheaper ones. That's your tack lens. Yeah, but they're all, they've all got the same level of polarization and UV protection, right? Correct. So it's not a case of, these have poor UV protection, they, they've got 100% UV protection and they've got the same polarized filter across the board. Yeah. The only thing that might change the clarity is the quality of yeah. the lens and also if you've got the the wrong lens for the conditions maybe, you know, yes. if, if you've got a dark lens in, in dark conditions then it's not going to help you is it? Yeah. And also depending if, if it's overcast sometimes it, nothing will really help you because you know you're not, it's to cut out glare isn't that's, it? And, that's where you probably do need <clears throat> two pairs of glasses. You can never say that one pair of glasses will suit you for every single fits fishing situation that you're into. You do always need, I would always, always have a pair of X2 Dusk in my bag, 100%. I'd have a pair of X2 Dusk and then I would choose something else out of the range. Also, you need to consider how these fit your face and what they do. So with the streets, they're not going to be as snug a fit on the face. You are going to get a bit of light perception coming in from the top just because of the frame style as opposed to the X2s which are a lot snugger around the brow and you're not going to get any light perception coming in from above. So you're going to get a lot clearer sight picture with those. But you let people come in here and try the glasses on all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do say one of the things is to try glasses on outside or look outside because you, you basically you wear, you're buying them to wear outside. So I'm happy if guys want to come in and try them on, we can go outside and we can look or we can look out the window because that's when you get that real realistic sort of effect of, of the, um, you know, the cutting out glare and contrast. So I was going to go back to these because you were talking about the snug fit. So these are the three pairs I've got. Yeah. So I like, I like these because they're quite big. They wrap around, as you say. But yeah. they also come right down to my cheeks. They've got the deepest lens that I've ever actually worn. Yeah. You know, your sunglasses, you see them sitting up here. And yeah. when Matt was saying, obviously, they fit snug around here, it's also important, I think, to have it to fit your face because you also get uh, glare from below. Yeah. So if the sun's above... And well, your UV bounces off of the water, especially if you're yeah. in a boat, you're surrounded by water all day. That light's hitting the water, and then it's bouncing back up at the face. So yeah, it's also if the sun can also the glare can also come from below, if the sun's directly above, which yeah. is rare in this country, particularly being that we're quite far in the northern hemisphere. But you want to also cut out glare from all directions. That's why I like these wraparound style. I always go for the wraparound with a slightly thicker frame. But you know, as I say, if I'm on the water, I'm, and I'm a bit paranoid about my eyes too. Um, so I wear glasses all the time. As I say, it'll be raining outside. I'll put my glasses on, and people say, "Why are you wearing your glasses?" And I sort of go, "Well, look, look through them. They're not that dark." You know, and the, pe and the dusk as well are a really nice driving lens. Yeah, so I, I don't mean, know if you tried it for driving. That's at all. Night, I, that's all I wear. Really good. It's all I wear. Yeah, I mean, even at night you're driving because it cuts out the glare from the, the. It seems weird, but it cuts out the glare from the headlights. Yeah. And you know, so people do. I have a lot of my mates say, "What are you wearing glasses for? It's not even. The sun's not even shining." But even just UV, the sun doesn't have to be shining for there to be UV coming through the clouds or reflecting off the water. So you don't have to wear your glasses all the time, but it's just for me, it's just a habit. I leave, I go, wallet, phone, keys, mask, glasses, Yeah. off I go. I normally yeah. forget one of those, normally so my mask. <laughs> never let's, never let's my run, glasses, I tell you. Never my let's glasses. Let's just run down through the sort of various ranges that we've got. So from your tack element, which is your basic, we've got 
the reflexes, which are in various different colours, but also under that we've got the moonstones, that's those. So that's the tack lenses and that's our entry level basic sort of lens that we've got. And those are your plastic which, which are layered. Yes. And the benefit of those is they are they are very light. Um, the, the lens is actually softer than the than the polycarbonate, aren't they? But yeah. I the, guess the, the issue with that is it's harder to coat, yes, which so is why we don't provide them with the mirrored finishes yeah. and the other and colours. And also why maybe if they are coated you may have problems with them down the line. If you put salt water on or cream, then that coating, yeah. and yeah. I even had it with my Oakleys, which yeah. cost 180 quid, that coating started to bubble off. And I learned later that that's because it's a softer lens, it's not as easy to coat. So these, am I right, they're not coated, these ones? No, that's correct. Yeah. And they're super so, light frames and super light glass. So you don't even know, that. that's yeah. one of the nicest things about them. So that's our entry level. Yeah. Stepping up, we're going into the X2s, like your waters, and then we're going into the streets again. So this is our PC glasses. Yep. And uh, then, also the Fish Pros as well, which have got that nice side on them as well. So that is our sort of mid range. And then as we step up into our final range, we've got two models in the top range, which is the Eagle Eyes, which have got that nice tortoise shell frame on them and that really retro black arm, and then Barry's other favourites, which is the Tarpoons, which you've got that real wrap around cop style. Yeah, I like these, they've got a very, they're actually, they sit very lightly on my face. They, they maybe even feel slightly lighter, but I think it's got a slightly less, you know, it's got a straighter arm here. It's also got, it's. I think it's one of the only ones with, the Moonstone have a bit of the plastic, but it's just got the rubber there. Yeah. Just so when you're sweaty, Maybe it just helps them yeah. grip it. I mean, to be honest, I haven't had a problem with these ones, and I like I like the idea of these because with my old glasses, with particularly my Costas, that the rubber has deteriorated yeah. before any of us. So, but you know, we'll see. I'm hoping these that they do come with the two year guarantee, don't they? Yeah, so, that's correct. So and also, do you want to cover what you get with them in the way that your case? Yeah, yeah. Cleaning so, cloth. So that's so, there's a box. Yeah. So that's your these. That's your HX4 Knights. You tend to get these bigger boxes with your slightly more expensive ones in the, in the entry levels you get the thinner box but you do get a case with yeah, every you still pair. get a case with everything yeah you still get a case where's those cases we had one uh, there's, there's one, one there. here so with these so with most of your glasses here your hx your uh, x2s your, your tarpoons um the fish pros fish pros you'll get you'll get a cloth you'll get a little booklet which talks you through the various lenses and explains a little bit of what we've yeah. what we've touched on, and I guess a little bit of a, a guarantee, your two year warranty on the back, yeah. and you just get a couple of stickers, so you know just a nice little, nice little token. So yeah, stick. basically every pair of glasses you get a hard case so that they can't be damaged. You get a nice microfiber cleaning cloth in there, and some stickers all within that box so make sure that when you buy them even if you get them from your retailer in the skinny box they will still come with a hard case well they should yeah and i, I do notice those don't have the um those just come in a plastic case but some of them do actually have a soft material case yes with a bungee yeah. i haven't quite figured out which ones do and which ones don't but yeah you'll figure it out but you should get a case at least with every single pair of glasses you buy nice sort of not a solid case but hard enough that it will protect your yeah. glasses in the box or your suitcase it's you not going to protect them if you run over with a truck but no. it will certainly stop them from getting bashed about in your tackle bag and um, then the last thing I think yeah so we've got this handy little case here we've got these um, oh, I know a black Leech. one over here as well I know Leach are bringing out more accessories. We were lucky to get some shirts the other day. Matt brought my shirt in for me today, which is nice. Nice little t-shirt, thanks for that. That's not a problem. And, and the uh, new okay. UV model, 50, 50 factor UV model shirt. So yeah, modeling that one. I could have done with that at Weirwood the other day, that's for sure. These are nice. Um, so yeah, the, the straps are actually buoyant, floating. So so it's got a nice, nice rubber sleeve there, which is quite a snug fit. You know, you just need to wet it a bit, don't you, to slide yeah. it over some of the bigger glasses. I found with mine, you know, with these particular, um, the X2s have got quite a big Yeah, back. the eagle eye and that but got a lot slimmer. Yeah, the tarpoon was a lot easier because it's quite slim. But it does actually fit over all the glasses, just slightly snugger. You know, you just need to wet it 
it, it holds when it's obviously moisturized and it'll just slide on like that. Um, nice snug fit. And because it's buoyant, if your glasses do fall over the side, this strap will save your glasses from sinking. So we currently, I think the only colors they do are the black, orange, yeah, and yellow. Yeah, that's, that's our basic colors, yeah. Yeah, so something for everyone really, I think. Um, nice, comfortable, soft, foam uh, straps there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think, you know, for me, it's a case of, you know, hopefully we can help you decide if you need some glasses, what glasses will be best suited for you and the conditions and the circumstances in which you want to use them. Um, yeah, as same. I said, you know, if Literally. you're fishing often and if you're a hardcore fisherman, as with anything, it's worth investing a little bit more in your stuff. The same, you know, Matt and I, we both come traditionally from the sort of building tools industry. And when you've got a tool that you're going to use all the time, day in, day out, you're not going to go out and buy a cheap Bosch, green Bosch tool. You're going to buy the best tool that you can afford for the job. Yeah. And then by the same token, if you've got other tools or anything, fishing rods, reels that you're going to use invariably once or twice a year, then there's not much point in investing a massive amount of money unless you've got money to burn. And if there's just one want... thing that you're going to protect <clears throat> over everything else, it's got to be your eyes. That sun is brutal and it's a really important thing that you're going to need to protect. So you're going to get cataracts later in life. Everybody will get cataracts, but that will be greatly reduced mm -hmm. by wearing decent <laughs> level eyewear. So to choose a pair of these, you can either come in the shop, see Barry, try a few pairs on, or you can hit myself up on Instagram, Barry up on Instagram under the lure box. Myself is just Matt underscore boast. We can answer the majority of your questions. If we don't know, we will tell you. But a really important thing is all of these glasses we can also do in prescription. So you can hit Barry up. If you want a prescription pair of glasses, send us your prescription details. We can then get you a cost on that and we can get you any of these ranges of glasses in a prescription. I think that's really important to consider. It is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite an expense, but I think if you wear glasses, you'll know that any, any sunglasses in prescription, I think costs are like 800. I think these, what, they're around the four or five hundred Yeah, mark I think, yeah, so. five, about around um, the sort of five hundred on obviously top of the cost it's of the It varies slightly because the glasses are different, but, you know, this, the, the prescription, you'd probably want to get a slightly more expensive pair if you're going to go to all that trouble um, for the sake of an extra hundred quid or whatever. And it's hopefully going to last you a long time. So, yeah, that's important to add because I know I'm getting to the point now where I need glasses to look closely <laughs> um, but yeah I mean that's I think we've covered everything Matt and yep. just hopefully you guys are better informed I know I am um, you know I chatted to Matt the other day I did a bit of research myself about these phrases I didn't know some of these things um, you know all, all the various materials and why and so that's why I wanted Matt to come in just clarify it for me so that I can talk from a much a much from a better authority which is what I like to do I like to sample the products I like to use them and I get a lot of people phoning me and I can speak in confidence saying these glasses will be suitable not just because they feel right or they look right but what are you doing how often are you going to wear them how much do you want to spend and then we can go through and choose the right pair or pairs for you as I say you can get two or three pairs of these for the price of some of the the other competitors glasses. Yeah, so you know? Barry banged on about a brand which I won't bang <clears throat> on about because I've obviously got a different allegiance but these glasses are designed for the European continent. They're not designed for somewhere where you've got bright sun and bright sea every day of the year. You're not going to be rocking around Miami with these sort of glasses. You can with the top end ones. They'll compete equally to those other ranges. But these are more designed for the climates like we've got throughout Europe where you've got cloudy, overcast days for the majority of the time mixed in with a few sunny days that's what this brand was developed around and that's why it fits so well with the niche in UK and Ireland excellent I mean we do get a fair few sunny days hopefully more yeah more to come and yep. more people and... buy glasses <laughs> I'm happy and the good thing is now you can also get your glasses as um, 
helps us out on, on yeah if you're self-employed, self-employed that's definitely a good thing PPE, you can get that I think it's PPE called, yeah which definitely. is obviously a big a new keyword since uh COVID PPE everyone knows yeah. personal protection equipment and you can actually claim that back as a business expense if you're in some kind of got some kind of business where you could justify buying a pair of glasses protective to, to protect your eyes i know when i, I used to use grind, a grinder i just put my glasses on stop those with the shatter resistance eyes. <laughs> like we said and you know you sometimes you need proper goggles if it's a lot of dust but most of the time you just need direct protection from things flying at your eyes probably don't do them with these you don't want them to damage them but yeah you know um so that's another good point but i think we've pretty much covered everything yeah. Um, so protect your eyes because yeah. you can't buy a new pair. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you out on the water soon. Don't forget, hit us up on Instagram if you've got any questions. Pop into the lure box and see Mr. Lynch in person. Thanks, and thanks, Matt. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you be feel better informed, and we will catch up with you soon. Are we doing the elbow? There you go. There you go. COVID and safe. Look forward to seeing you. Cheers.